Hi everyone, I'm Penny Schultz and this is Orient Outreach. We're in the studio today with Bill Kokanis of Lake Orion Lighted Christmas Parade and this is going to be a great program. Grab a cup of coffee and pull up a chair. Bill, I'm so glad you're here. I well, thank you and I appreciate it very much for being here and taking the time to listen to about the parade and our fundraiser, the Holly Jolly Folly. You are a busy man. Sometimes, yep. Yeah. What's one of your favorite things that you're getting ready? Um, the parade is, is more because you see, I mean, we see a lot of the different people and we've got a lot of people involved in the parade. It's, um, it just, it fulfills you. It makes you feel like this is the time of the year to do Christmas. It really is. You have a right-hand man, I heard. Tell yep. me about him. Tim Blowski is the best right-hand man I've ever had in 45 years of doing stuff. All I have to do is look at him and he knows exactly what's on my mind and he 99% of the time does it. The other 1%, I have to tell him. He's a friend to everyone. Yep, he's a great kid, great yes, guy. Yes, I'm really glad to hear that. And he's here with you in the studio today. Yep, he's here supervising me. Fantastic, someone's gotta keep track of you. That's right, and he does. So when is the parade? The parade is Saturday, December 6th, 3rd, excuse me, December 3rd uh, at six o'clock in the village of Lake Orion. Uh, we start preparing for the parade the day after the parade. We have a wrap-up meeting two or three days after the parade, and we talk all about next year's parade and what we should do, what we need to do for next year. Um, but the parade starts at 6, and it goes through the village of Lake Orion. It goes down Flint Street to Anderson to Front Street to Broadway and out to Elizabeth, and then it goes on Lapeer, Lapeer Street, not Lapeer Road. Um, and we usually average about 100 to 20 to 130 entries, uh, which makes it <coughs> pretty big. Um, we believe we are the big, one of the biggest lighted Christmas parades in the state of Michigan. Um, so we're really proud of that and we work really hard to keep that title. How do you get all of those floats staged and ready to go? We do that at Blanche Sims uh, schools. Um, there's a crew there that does it. Uh, Chris Barnett, Julie Darrymple, Mike Flood, uh, the Stimels usually help out as well. Uh, we stage it back there. Tim sort of coordinates everything going on back there. And we um, get them lined up and then at six o'clock uh, we get the all go and we move them out. And how can people put a float or enter a float in the they parade? Can go, they can go to our website, www.orionlightedparade.com and click on the registration and they can just follow the instructions from there. Fantastic, and when would you like people to get their float registered by? What's the deadline? It, well, we'd like to have it the Thursday before the parade, which uh, would be December 1st, but if it happens the next day, it happens the next day, but we don't take any registrations the day of the parade. So if somebody shows up and says, hey, we wanna be in the parade, we say, great, you can be in the parade, but when you get to our announcers, who are Rock and Ronnie and John Cooper, we're not gonna be able to announce who you are because we just, even though we're using computers now, we just don't have the time to input all that information. I can believe that it's a lot of work just to get everything in place and make sure it sets off right at six o'clock on that day. Well, it doesn't always set off at six o'clock, but yeah, it, it does. And we have a great committee. Everybody has their little jobs that they do and it, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a smooth operation. Uh, there's always hiccups, but we get through them. The crowds line the streets. We can hardly wait. Yeah, we get about 7,000 people down in the village on it. It has to be a good weather day, but we get about 7,000 people between Blanche Sims schools and the village. The village is really packed. And ONTV will film this Yep, live. They, film, they film it live and then uh, it's broadcast through January, I think. I'm so excited. It's we going are to too. be fantastic. Businesses are opened in the village. We want people to enjoy the food yep, and are, hot chocolate. Yep, and restaurants. I know that um, a bean to go and Lucky's will be selling um, hot chocolate. So that's sort of like one's in the beginning of the village and one's in the middle. Uh, sometimes we have other nonprofit groups that come in and we set them up in different areas. Uh, to sell hot chocolate as well. I love that. How do you raise funds for this? We raise funds through um, a fundraiser. The main fundraiser is at Gollings. It's called the Holly Jolly Folly. Gollings pays for everything, so all money earned, it goes directly to the parade group. It's a dinner, dance, silent auction, as I call it. Uh, it starts at 6.30, goes to 
11 o'clock ish. Um, but we have silent auction prizes. Um, this year we have silent auction prizes that uh, we've got a kayak that was given to us. We have a bike that a very beautiful bike from Main Street Bikes. Main Street Bikes also we're going to use their upper loft as a silent auction prize. So for 10 people, they can go up and, and sit there and watch the parade at a high wow. level. There'll be heaters up there, chairs, a uh, bunch of other things we're, we're still collecting and we collect right to that day. If anybody would like to donate, all I have to do is call me. And um, we Tell can me your number. 248-802-5521. Say it again. 248-802-5521. We do have two other small fundraisers. One at Gollings, we put on a classic car show. And again, all the proceeds from that show goes to uh, the, the uh, parade group. And then uh, Lloyd and Kathy Coe at Ed's Broadway Costume puts on a zombie walk. And uh, we, we do that, and they do that in line with the uh, Legion in the Village. And we end up there, and it's like a, a, a walk around, and um, they do poker runs and stuff like that, and that money also generates it. Everybody gets involved. Yeah, we try to get everybody involved. That's what it's all about, is mm -hmm. getting everybody involved, um, trying to get everybody in the spirit of the holiday season. It's a really cool event. We yep. all look forward to it. It's a tradition in our community. Yeah, we try to keep it that way. We tr and, and I guess I want to say this, I call it like a mom and pops um, because we have inquired uh, or, or we have had people want to bring in floats like they do at the, uh, the Thanksgiving Day Parade. And that just doesn't, that's just not our theme. Our, our theme is more of the Boy Scout troops or the church groups or whomever putting putting floats together. This year we're going to have three bands. Uh, one is the Lake Orion Band. Yes, the Lake uh, Orion High School. High School Band, yep, number Good. two in the state. Uh, then we're going to have uh, the Notre Dame Prep Band will be back again this nice. year. Um, and then the third one will be the Michigan Fife and Drums. Uh, they're also in it. We also have uh, drum lines from the Lions. Uh, former Piston drum line players will be here. Wow. We're going to have Rory, Paws will be here. I'm not sure about, or not Paws, I'm sorry, Hooper. I'm not sure about Paws yet. That's usually a last minute thing. We have over 40 costume characters. Uh, and something we started this year, which is extremely unique, we are going to have a tent at the um, Cross from Fork and Pint where the old Lake Orion Review parking lot was. Mm -hmm. And in there you can go in and see Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. Oh, My Pick Photography is doing pictures for free. You get your picture right then and there. Uh, we have little gifts for the kids and everything else. There'll be a heated tent. We'll have hot chocolate and cookies in there too. But we used to have it down at the Village Hall, but we thought we'd get it more involved into the parade itself. That's awesome. Yeah, the kids are going to love it. Yeah, and, and, and we're excited for mm -hmm. that, especially because um, we really think that it's going to be a big hit. I believe it will. Who's your Grand Marshal? Our Grand Marshal this year uh, is Joe Young, former uh, village manager for Orion and Oxford. And our Citizen of the Year is Scott Taylor from Sick Pizza and also school board member here in Lake Orion. That's fantastic. Congratulations to both men. Yep, they they really both were deserved. I mean, Scott really mm -hmm. put out a lot last year with his things that he did for Oxford. Um, and he's always got things going on within the community. He's trying to raise funds for everybody, wow. both Orion and Oxford. And Joe Young, I mean, what else can I say about the guy? I, he's great. I love him. Um, he's done a fantastic job in Oxford. And when he came down here, he did the same thing. Um, so that's what we're doing. Uh, and that's who we picked this year. That's fantastic. So bring your chairs, pick your spot, get there early, and... What else do you want to tell us? See Santa, come and see Mrs. Claus and Santa Claus. And we are the biggest parade, lighter parade in Michigan. Come on out and see us. We'd love to have you. Um, people start lining up there at 11, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, putting their chairs down. It's, it's almost like the fireworks, except it's a little bit colder. Yes, but we're pretty tough. We can take yep, it. Yep, we do. So Bill, we've, this is amazing. Tell me a few more things you want us to know, and we're going to wrap up here. Well, I'd like to thank John Cooper and the staff at Gollings because um, if you've ever been to a car dealership, you know that there's cars around, oil on the floor and all this other stuff. And John Cooper and his staff um, take the place and you, you wouldn't know you're, you're at a car dealership. Um, and there we're going to have a live band. We're going to have uh, some carolers there this year. 
Dinner is provided by Italia Gardens. Um, so it's a big event. Tickets are going fast, so if you really want them, go on our website again, www.orionlightedparade.com and hit the link uh, to buy your tickets because they're going fast and we usually get about 400 people. It sells out all the time. Yeah, and we, we believe we're also one of the biggest, if not the biggest, single night attended event in North Oakland County. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Bill. I'm so yeah. glad you're here today. Oh, I appreciate any time, Penny, but I really appreciate you giving us the opportunity to speak. Fantastic. Yeah. Hey, we'll see you at the Lake Orion Lighted Christmas Parade on December 3rd. Have a great day, everyone.